the underground exploded into the mainstream with the release of Cannibal Holocaust. Cannibal Holocaust falls into the category of a movie that's so low budget you kind of believe it's real. And then you look at the people they use and they use real cannibals and like jungle savages when they film this. The film opened in Italy on the 8th of February 1980 and caused uproar. It appeared to show documentary footage where people were beheaded, castrated and eaten by cannibals. It resulted in it being banned in Italy and Britain. One of the most controversial moments in the film is when the crew discover the impaling of one of the cannibals. And I've watched the scene over and over with a girl impaled on a pole, and we thought that has to be real. Blurring the line between fact and fiction had serious consequences for the director when the Italian authorities put him on trial for the murder of the actors. By appropriating the techniques of the documentary world, Diodato had skillfully persuaded audiences into thinking they were watching real, uncut scenes. This is especially true of the last footage, shot by the documentary crew, in which they capture their own murders. 